Okay guys, in this video I want to have a look at the Rebar Shape Manager which can be found under the Rebar tab uh, Shape Manager and what I particularly want to look at is how Tecla calculates the length, the cutting length of the rebar also how it calculates the weight of the rebar Now for this exercise I've got a small little beam here and um, it's just a 500 by 500 by 1000 long I've also got a elevation on the end of the beam so we can see what the reinforcement looks like. So what I'll do is just to have context, I'll put in a rebar and I think what we'll do is we'll just go open up our rebar catalog and we'll select a bigger bar so it's just better visible in the, the video. So I'll pick a N20. Now also I want you to take note of the nominal and actual diameter being different, 20 for the nominal, 23 for the actual, which uh, accounts for the ribs on the rebar. So 23 is an important number to remember. The other thing to remember is the 2.47, which is the weight per length uh, defined for this bar. Obviously, all of this can be um, edited to suit your needs or your fabrication specifications for your rebar or whatever. But this is what is shipped with the Australasian environment at the moment. So if we select that bar, and we just hover over the concrete and we insert and I'll undo the top just to give us a bit of a U-shape and I'll accept that. That will give us a bar. Right, now the first thing we'll do is if we click on this bar, we can see the tech that shows us that this leg of the bar is 450. This leg is a 450 leg. This leg is a 450 leg, which means that the sum of those or the, the length of these bar is the length of this bar is calculated as 1 to 50. We can also look at it by right clicking and say inquire. And in here, if we just look at the bending schedule, we'll see that dimensions of the bar A, B, and C is 450. The calculated cutting length is 1 to 50, and the calculated weight is 3.1. Now, just to understand where that comes from and how we can change that to suit our specific um, requirement for either our project or our country fabrication standards or so, what I will do is I will flick to the, um, my, uh, let me just open up here quickly, I'll flick to my um, Edge browser, and in the Tecla, the Tecla, um, support uh, channel, the user resistance uh, channel, if we search for um, how to calculate the reinforcing bar length, Tecla basically calculates bar lengths in three different methods. The first one being along the center line, which is also the default method. And if you look at this little sketch they've provided here, you'll see a red dotted line down the center of the bar. So on default, that is how that length, that 1250 is calculated. The second option, that Tecla provides is a sum of the leg length and the SLL abbreviation is also important to remember. Um, and if you look at the sketch, you'll see it's a red dotted line running down the outside of the bar and it makes a 90 degree corner at the point of interflection. Also, when if that's not a 90 degree, it will always be the point of intersection. The third method is using a formula. For instance, you could say, I want the outside of the bar, but I want the bar to account for the uh, stretch, the shortening of the bar. So it runs around the radius, and therefore you get a 680 as opposed to a 700, which is more conservative, as opposed to a seven, uh, uh, big your pardon, a 670, as opposed to a 700, as opposed to a 680 for the different lengths. So what's really important is to understand if you're going to schedule a, a project how is the rebar on that uh, project measured um, and that you'll get from the um, procurement officer that will appoint a rebar fabricator for this project now the norm in australia and i say the norm because it is not a case everywhere there are some fabricators that works on the uh, center line and i know a lot of the consultants use this for calculations and it probably um uh, uh, is the reason why a lot of the reinforcement is undermeasured because the norm in Australia 90% of the rebar fabricators in Australia would use this method the sum of the leg lengths which gives you a longer length and therefore your tonnage will yield a higher ton so having having seen that let's go back to Tecla and let's just have a look at the rebar shape manager and if we click on the shape that's come up you can see that we've got our three legs there and if I just right click in a blank, you can see if we go down the bottom here, Tecla gives us um, 
two values here. The one is the center line length, which is 1251.21. And after rounding, you get the 1250, which is what Teclas calculated in this case for the bar length. The other method, uh, the method we uh, prefer to use in Australia is the sum of the leg length, which you can see it's a much longer. Now that 1350 is exactly the sum of the 450 plus the 450 plus the 450. That will give you 1350. And if you use that value to calculate with the unit, the unit uh, length, which is uh, 2.47 or 2.466, to be more precise, you'll get a different tonnage. So let's just have a look at it. So at the moment, if we go to inquiry, you can see that our length is 1250 and our calculated bar weight is uh, 3.1. So how can we change this? Now, the first step in this ex exercise is to go to your um, uh, where we go settings and if we go to our advanced settings option we can in the search bar just type in rebar and if we just hit the search in all categories and we scroll down to the bottom we'll find a a advanced uh, attribute here that says user defined rebar length and weight is equal to false now false is the default setting as you can see here and this is calculated according to the center line of the reinforcing bars if we want to change this to the sum of the leg lengths we can change this to true and what true means is if i just hover over it again it says they calculate the length and the weight of the reinforcing bar in the rebar shape manager using formulas in the fields l which indicates the length of the bar and weight, which indicates the weight of the bar. Now, if I just apply that and I say, okay, the next step I wanna do is just quickly go back to my uh, edge and I'll go to uh, another tab I've opened here. And this one, if you search for um, rebar shape rules or bending shape rules manually, uh, or add uh, new bending shape rules manually in the rebar shape manager. And we just scroll down to this little table here. It gives you an explanation of, of um, what an angle is defined, what's a twist angle is with a nice little sketch of what exactly that is. But the important thing here is in brackets, they've got a little abbreviation and these little abbreviations that they've got in brackets here can be used in formulas. So therefore the important one we want to know is that the sum of the leg length or sum of all the leg lengths as described there, the S LL abbreviation is really important. And the other one that's really important is the um, weight per length, the WPL abbreviation. So that can be used in the formula as well. So that, that's that's the two important points here. So if I go back to Tecla, first thing we can do is now that we've set in our advanced options, we've said, yes, we do want to use those two fields. We can, we can click on this. We can then go to the rebar shape manager. And if we click on that bar where it's defined, you can see at the moment there is no value in L. So if we right click in L and we just change this to the sum of the leg lengths, let's just do that for a first exercise. And and now just before I save that, you can see how it's 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 now already in brackets come up with the with the uh, sum of the leg length value calculated value. Before I I uh, save this, I just want you to note that in the window here. It tells you where the rebar shape manager is saving its file, the rebar shape rules.xml file. Now at the moment it's 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 reading the file from the environments Australasia general rebar shape catalog a folder. Now if I say save or update yeah, it's gonna update that file. Now, if we are working on a project or a model and we don't want to change our environment, we want to save this as somewhere else. So what I'll do here is I can say save as, and then it by default it will go to the um, to the model I'm working on, you cannot change that name and you can just say save, okay, and update it. So now it's it's, it's saved. You can see at the, bottom, uh, at the top of the title bar, it's now changed the name. So once that is done, and we now say, sometimes you'll need to um, re, uh, uh, reload the model, but let's just see if the update worked. In this case, if I go inquire, you can see that the rebar length is zero. So in this case, we'll have to just reload the model. So if I go file, open, recent the model i'm working on say open it's going to ask me to save and i say yes just save what i've got it doesn't take long to just reopen the model quickly so we'll just give it a second so there we go it's starting to load it okay our model is reloaded well almost okay it's reloaded and now if we go to click on this bar right click and we go to inquire you'll see that Tecla now uses the 1350 as the length, but the weight is still calculated on the previous one because we never 
put in a weight in a formula in the weight field so let's go and change that weight to the true weight that we want to use now as well so we go to the shape, rebar shape manager we'll select the shape we've just picked in the thing there you can do it the other way around too i mean you can you can um you can just open the rebar shape manager it has nothing in there if you then click the shape you can then go get selected and then click on the bar and it will bring up the properties now you can see in here we do have our defi definition of our, what we want the length to be in the L column. And if we scroll all the way down to the to the end, we have our weight column. And in here, we can say, add a formula. And in the formula, what do we want? How do we want to calculate the weight? What we want to do is we want to calculate the SLL, which is the sum of all leg lengths. And we want to multiply it by the weight per length, which is the weight per length specified in our rebar database, which is the 2.47. So once we do that and we say, okay, you can see if I right click there, immediately it's calculated 3.33 instead of 3.1. Now what we can do is because we're now reading the rebar shape catalog or the rebar shape rules file from the model, we can just say update it and save it and close. And now it should just work straight away. So if we say inquire, you can see we now have a 1350 and a 3.3 for our weight. So this is basically how Tecla calculates the weights of the bar. So the important takeaway here is first of all, to understand where the length comes from. Um, do you have a formula? Are you working on the center line of the bar or are you working at the sum of the leg lengths? Okay, that, that's really important to understand that. The second thing to, to understand is on your particular project, if you wanna match the sedulous tonnage, in Tecla, you need to work on the same system as he's working in. If he's using a sum of the leg length calculation and you using the center line calculation, you guys are never going to marry your tonnages. And there's always going to be a, a shortfall on your side. So make sure that you're on par there. The third thing to remember is that you need to calculate, or you need to tell Tecla to calculate the weight based on that length you've selected. And the fourth thing is, if you really want to make a one-to-one -one marriage, is that to make sure that you are using the same per linear meter weight length that the scheduler is using. So if I just click on that bar and I go into my rebar shape catalog, you need to use the same weight here as what they are using. They might account for a rolling margin, which you might not have in your value. Yeah, in this case, there is no rolling margin in this value. So if a reinforcement scheduler or fabrication uh, 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 company is, is using a rolling margin of between 3 and 4%, if you add that 0.3 and 4% there, you'll marry his, his, you'll get his exact value. Otherwise, you can just add it in a report later as an additional um, attribute to multiply your tonnage outwards. So I hope this was useful and then um, in the following videos we'll um, define bars and show you how all these formulas, you, you know, how we can um, make special bars or we can make bars and create uh, different formulas in here by using all of these um, values here. You know, long leg, leg, so forth. Alright, see you in the next video. Thank you.